Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident and welcome to our lesson today on statistics and this lesson is very important from you guys who are doing their grade 10s, also a good foundation for those who are doing their grade 11 and 12. Now remember as I begin this lesson I will encourage you if this is your first time coming in contact with this 24 minute lesson I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified every time I'm posting a new video. This is a channel with you in mind. I'm thinking about you as I'm bringing these lessons and I am preparing you for your final exams. Remember, you need to get that mark that you are looking for. That distinction, that um, high mark that you are aiming for, it is possible through this 24 minute lesson. Now, let's quickly go through our lesson here and I'm going to do a, a five part series. So be, be on the lookout for five set of videos on this section on statistics mainly for ukraine 10s so i'm just going to do it in short um minutes i'm not going to take long just to bring in some foundations and then at the end of this uh chapter what i'll be doing is bringing you some practical exam questions which you must be on the lookout for your exam it can actually be a good foundation for you to prepare for your final exams or for the test that you're about to write now look at this it says consider the following actually it's data not date sorry about that consider the following data and here what they've given us as you can see they've given us the following data one for blah 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 blah, blah. so now it says calculate the following you need to calculate the mean the median the mode the range the lower quartile the upper quartile the interquartile range semi intercortal range we need to do a five number summary as well as at the end of the day draw a box and whisk a diagram now i'm just going to do in this lesson i'm going to do the mean we are going to look at the mode we're going to look at the range and yeah that's it so in this lesson we're going to look at these three things now before you do anything the first thing you need to check on your data is it a grouped data or it is ungrouped data you can see that this data is not grouped so you need to arrange this data in a way you need to arrange this data into ascending order by ascending meaning you must start with the smallest number up to the last or the highest number so let's arrange this uh, data what i'm given maybe if i can use the actual typing here Let's rearrange this data the way I'm given here. So what am I having? I've got one as the first number, you can see. And then after that, I've got, um, there is my other one. I've got two, and then I've got another two. So you need to rearrange, just rearranging. There is another two. And then I've got three and check another three see i'm rearranging this data and i've got four four there are two of the fours and i've got uh five i don't have five i've got six only one six and i've got seven only one seven i've got eight and eight um like that and then i've got nine and I've got 10 and I've got um, 30. So let me just count my data again. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Say it. And then here I've got also, if I can just increase uh, this, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 one is missing here remember as i said you need to arrange it but you need to also be on the lookout i think i already picked up look at the four i've got this four here i've got that four and that four so it is always good to check one is covered and then two it's one and two which is covered three was one two which is covered and then i've got four which is one two three so you see that the number that was missing there I think I need to put a 4 there. Alright, so if I count again, it must be 16. So you've got your 6, 
uh, sorry about that I've got my 6 covered, my 7 covered, my 8, 8 covered, my 9, my 10, as well as my 30. Now look at this. Why am I scratching it out? Sometimes to scratch out, it helps me to check if ever I didn't miss out anything. But even if I count here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have what did I do? You arrange this data as I say. Arrange. Arrange according to what? According to ascending. This is ascending order. Meaning you start from the smallest number until the highest number. And then... From there, you are in a position now to answer the questions that are following. The first question says, calculate the mean. Now, how do you calculate the mean? Your calculator will always come handy here. For you to calculate the mean, usually given as x bar, it is equal to, you add all these numbers. So, I'm not going to do much here. I'm just going to add plus that, plus that, put a plus in between these numbers. You add all these numbers, plus plus you see I'm adding these numbers now remember how many numbers are they they are 16 so you're going to divide this by the total number which is 16 so when you add that whatever you're going to get we call it the mean which is x bar so let us do that so that we can get um, I'm just gonna move it so it's 1 so you put a fraction there 1 plus 2 uh, plus 2 plus 2 so the 2's there they are 3 plus 3 plus 3 they are 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 they are 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus move it this side 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 30 then remember you divide by 16 and then when you do that equal to press sd there to two decimal places mainly you guys are supposed to leave your answer to two decimal places which is 6.4 that three is affected by seven to become 6.44 but your calculator can round off shift setup six there is fixed and then to two decimal place you say fixed to two then say sd again 6.44 so you've got that as 6.44 that becomes your what your mean so the question says calculate the mean so that's how you find the mean it's a matter of uh, adding these numbers all together so if you make errors it's whereby you will make the error in not properly adding these numbers so you add them you find the total and then you divide by the total um, how many numbers are there next one is the mode the mode also must not always be difficult or in a way uh, to you when we talk about the mode what are we talking about when we're talking about the mode you look at the number that appears the most it must appear the most sometimes we we saying it appears more frequently frequently the number that appears the most let's start with the numbers that are appearing the most look at this i've got two 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 it appears how many times it appears three times do i have another number that appears three times three appear twice there is four 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 it appears also three times eight it appears two times so you can see that there are two numbers which are appearing two i mean three times so we call that the mode the mode is the number which appears most frequently if there are two of them you are going to say therefore the mode is two and four what we call this we call this bimodal why because it has got two modes if it's three is trimodal if it's one it's just a mode so don't um feel like you, which one must i choose between the two and the four if there are two of them appearing you need to choose that so you just look at the number which is appearing the most uh, compared to the other numbers the last one for this lesson is the range now what do we mean when we talk about the range when you're talking about the range remember the first part is to arrange these numbers 
in ascending order, then it becomes easier for you to identify things like the mode and the range. Now the range says look at the first number and go to the last number. See that? So number one and number last, that's where you're talking about the range. So when you're talking about the range here, you're going to say a range is equal to maximum minus minimum number so the maximum number which is the last number which is 30 minus the minimum which is the first number there which is 1 so the range there is what is 29 that's what we mean when we say calculate the what the range so these are as i said i'm going to be doing the rest of um the other lower quartile upper quartile and everything but i was just bringing in these three ones which are very simpler you just have to especially the mode and the range by looking at it you can actually get the answer you understand so now join me in the next lesson whereby i'll be looking at the other parts we've come to the end of our lesson remember it is important that you subscribe so that you can be notified every time i bring these videos follow up on the next lesson thank you